huge news. For, actually, the biggest news for the 49ers. They re-signed Ross Dwelly. A lot of people yeah. thought he was going to get like a $200 million contract somewhere else, but no, he gave the Niners that hometown discount coming back. Probably a one-year deal for the minimum, I'm guessing. No, no, no. In all seriousness, seven catches the last two seasons. They don't use him. He's like a special teams guy. Why do they keep bringing Ross Dwelly back when he was like inactive on at, down the stretch and Tyler Croft was playing over him and now Tyler Croft's gone and Dwelly's back? Tell me why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why? He's, he, I mean, he's a receiving tight end with no inline blocking ability. I mean, he's, that they don't throw to. Yeah. I mean, he's a good guy. He, you know, he went to a play good, special teams. Yeah. You know, he went to a good Jesuit school at University of San Diego. I, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I, I don't they must it. love him, though. He's a core special teamer. Um, but he basically, he only played 101 snaps on offense. <laughs> what? But he played like, 238 snaps on special teams. So, I mean, he's on their hands team on, you know, on, on onside kicks. He's a receiving threat. Um, I, I That's really, why he's on the team, for the onside kicks, for the yeah, four I, onside kicks a season. Right. I think they'll probably draft him off the team because I think they will go tight end. But, yeah. um, but I mean, they obviously like him. They like him as a movement tight end. And they must prefer him over other options. I mean, you've got Kittle, you've got Warner, who's kind of a try-hard blocker. You got Dwelly, but you really need to upgrade. Um, you know, I think at the tight end spot behind Kittle. So, you know, we'll, we'll to see. To me, Dwelly is just like a bigger, slower Juwan Jennings. I don't understand why he doesn't get the ball. They have the same exact skill set, really yeah. slow, but yet they get open and catch passes. I mean, I think Dwelly is a, a decent pass catching option he just gives you no power at all as a blocker so he's a negligent blocker it's like oh my god i mean you're gonna you're gonna risk also nothing after the catch he gives you nothing after the catch but he's never dropped a pass in his life well in his career good hands he always had good yeah yeah and it's funny if you watch him in in training camp he he's slow he's like slower than the offensive lineman he runs a 5-1 he's like rumbling up and then he does this little move and then he gets open and catches the ball no matter who's covering him i don't know how he does it but he moves in slow motion but you know, here's the here's the bottom line. Part of having good special teams is giving your special teams coach a voice in the roster construction. And maybe Schneider just said, "Hey, look, this is one of my key special teamers. I want yeah. him back." Yeah. Um, and that could be that right there could be the reason he's back. The way he's the last person down on kick returns, I need that. I, I, I got to have that. I've, I need sorry. somebody I, who's I love Ross Dwelly. Yeah. No, but the real question is are the Niners just, still in the market for a tight gonna, end? <laughs> the, no, the real question is: Are the Niners still in the market for a tight end? No doubt. Yes, of course. No in doubt. the draft, it's a, it's it's a not a generational, but it's one of the better tight end classes in a long time. Like they got to get in on this. No doubt. I mean, yeah. there's going to be great players at the tight end spot in this draft, and you know they have three thir- third round picks, or a fourth round pick, multiple fifth round picks. I believe somewhere in that window, they're going to get a tight end. What about um, the Iowa tight end from this year, Sam Laporta? I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah. I, he's not Kittle, but I like him. I mean, he is not as fast as Kittle. He's not as strong as Kittle, but he's got great instincts as a receiver. Their offense was so terrible, and their quarterback was so bad that it's almost hard to evaluate him, but he still was productive. So, you know, I mean, if you watch Iowa offense, I mean, they, they – I mean, seriously, I mean, they, they treated every touchdown like a lunar eclipse. I mean, it was just its ridiculous. <laughs> Their quarterback, Spencer Petrus, was horrible, horrible. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Sorry, Spencer. So, so I, in some ways, I think Laporta we, might be a lot better than we even think because right. he was still productive in that, on that horrendous offense. Kind of like how Kittle was held back by C.J. Beathard back in college. What about right. Payne Durham from Purdue? That's I love him. He's 6'5". Okay. He's 255. Okay. He's got soft hands. I like Payne Durham a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of good tight ends. I mean, the Notre Dame kid, I guess, did not work out particularly well at the uh, Combine, so he's going to probably fall into the 20s, Michael Mayer. Okay. Dalton Kincaid is an incredible player. Uh, the, the Georgia kid made that amazing catch at the Combine, but he is just a freakish athlete at 270. So, yeah, they're, there's a lot of good tight ends this year. Are the Raiders going to get him? Is that why they traded uh, Waller? I gotta think the Raiders are going to get a tight end because not only do they Have trade to, Waller, right? I think Foster Moreau's leaving, so the Raiders are totally empty at tight end. So they're going to get somebody. 
Josh McDaniels is so good at tearing down a team. I feel like the reason he went to the Raiders is because he knows that Mark Davis doesn't have enough cash to really fire him and hire someone else. Like he's got right. some job oh, security got, here, right? He's got job security. He's because like I mean, no one there. likes exactly. No one likes Josh McDaniels. The, no one has anything nice to say about him, and he seems arrogant enough to think that he actually created Tom Brady, which is a problem because he didn't. Right. Kyle Shanahan's cat says odds on Niners waste uh, third pick or third third round pick on kicker Jake Moody. No more drafting kickers. No more drafting kickers high. Go re-sign, re- re-sign Robbie Gold. They could have had Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, but they drafted a punter. Right. No more of that. In round four. 